All right, so we got some fun and a little bit of an adventure happening tonight. Got a buddy of mine coming over. He's going to give me a hand. I think mostly to laugh at me and drink my beer. But uh, we're doing some work on the Springer today. Tonight. I don't know. It's Wednesday night at almost 6.30. So anyway, all I've done to the Springer so far is I douched this thing top to bottom, front to back. I mean, I douched her inside and out. I mean, I four, it, four buckets of water because it kept getting nasty. But she's clean. She's shining. So uh, forgive the light. We're in the garage. It's dark outside. So, you know, everything. I mean, all the, the grease and oil and dirt and crud. There's no headlight. You know, that, that's to come. You know, to, I mean, the forks, they're, they're great. There's some little surface rust here and there that I took care of. You know, uh, those pipes did shine up really nice temporary seat but yeah I mean, it, it turned out great I you know, it probably still looks better in person than it does on camera don't get me wrong but uh, like I said it was just a, a wash and a rinse a very thorough rinse had my deep little detail brushes out you know get all the nooks and crannies in the engine bay around the transmission through the forks the springs calipers everything except the wheels I didn't touch the wheels because I got to take those off to put new tires on, and it'll figure it'll be easier to do, uh, you know, cleaning the, the wheels with them on a workbench instead of on a bike. So, uh, actually, let me get right back to you. I think my little helper just showed up. So, one sec. All right, I don't know where I left off, but uh, cleaning the bike. Like I said four buckets of water because that the bike was gross. Uh, after that, got it all washed up, clean with uh, some fresh water. Uh, borrowed my buddy's buffer, went front to back. You know, everything got buffed out. Pulled a little uh, protector off of here. And if you guys haven't tried it yet, one of those round rubber disc eraser things are fantastic. They make a hell of a mess. So do that before you clean the bike. Don't ask me how I know. Um, and then the one thing I didn't do that I meant to do and I kicked myself for not doing is I didn't go over it with my uh, my clay bar kit. So, oops. Uh, but then went ahead and hit it with the ceramic coat, whole thing, mirrors. Didn't do the headlight because that's getting swapped out. Fender, tank, uh, gas caps, glass glass you know everything because that's the nice thing about that ceramic coat is you can put it on everything so long as it doesn't get hot and oh well, she's shiny now so today er that same buddy you saw working on we were working on his heritage uh, his stock bars off of his bike he gave me to go onto the springer so we're gonna do that today and it's going to let me save up some more nickels and dimes because as much as I appreciated everybody's input and some people grooving on the the uh, buckhorn bars and other people kind of agreeing with me when it comes to the drag bars, I th this is going to get drag bars. I just don't know that it's going to be this year. Uh, when we do the bars, we're also going to do the stainless braided cables because that's just really going to help make it pop. But for now... I accept his donation. So they're just standard bars. He's in the way, otherwise I would show you said bars. I can move. He thinks he can move, but he's very broken. The oldest 73 year old ever. But out of the way. All right, so. I said nothing special, just some one inch bars. I know that we're gonna see the knurling a little bit. So if it ends up twisting around a little bit too much, I've got a, a trick in mind that should help stabilize that. So hopefully it doesn't. If I see the knurling, oh freaking well, because it's gonna get drag bars anyway. And, and that, that temporary seat that you saw also came off of his heritage. So, which I thought was a, a fun fact. There's 17 years difference between this Springer and his bike and his seat dropped right into place. So. 
Uh, I don't get to keep the seat, which is okay because I don't want the seat. I'm in talks with Saddleman to try to figure something out for that. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you all in the loop. But the bars were free and you can't beat free 99. So we're going to wander over, kind of fill you in on what we're going to use to do this. We need a little bit more light. If I can hit the button, there we go. So we got the quarter inch Allen to take out our riser bolts. We got T27s here and then a actually a T20 if that comes through right there. And it should only be those three Torx bits, these four, everything will come off, lift this off, drop the new one on, test, you know, get the distance all and snug it down. It should be simple since nothing is internally wired, but in my experience, nothing goes that simple. So we're gonna get at it, we're gonna start turning wrenches and I will check back in with you guys when we've made progress. Okay, progress has been made and I didn't screw anything up yet. We have no bars. We got uh, controls dangling safely, neatly up as best we can. Interesting fact, and somebody answer me, we pulled the bars off and there was a spring, rusty spring, inside the high side riser, but not the low side. I don't know why this is here. I kind of want to know, and I also kind of want to know why there's not two. So somebody who has at least two ounces more common sense than I have, let me know, is this a normal thing? Is this somebody rednecking a fix? I, I, I don't know. But either way, they're off. Quick and simple, ended up being a T25 and a T27 to get the clamshells off there. We had our quarter inch, so yoink, that's off. So now we're gonna grab the new bars over there, plop them on, and then we'll check back once we got a little bit. We're not gonna be able to finish this because the new, the new grips I've ordered haven't shipped yet. So we're just kind of gonna get things a little mocked up. So let me keep trucking along. Okay, we made progress. All positive, for the most part. Made two learning opportunities. One, aluminum risers and steel bolts. They don't like to get along. As I was threading this down, the threads in the riser stripped. Bolt just kept spinning. I was a little worried that I had snapped the bolt until I pulled the bolt out and found threads around the bolt. So attempted to retap it, didn't make a difference. I, are, I know I need riser bushings, probably grab some poly bushings, but I might end up just getting a whole new riser or set of risers if they don't sell them individually. I don't know. Well, that's neither here nor there at the moment. At least I got three bolts holding it tight. And we're a touch short on the brake line. And unfortunately, it appears to be a one piece brake line from here down to the brake. So I'll be doing some digging around on Dennis Kirk to see how much one of those is gonna run. And that's gonna send me down a rabbit hole because we both know if I've got to replace the brake line, it might as well be stainless. And if that's stainless, everything else has to be stainless. because it's gotta match, you know, clutch cables, or sorry, clutch cables, throttle cables, that's all got to match. But overall, let's step back here a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that a lot more personally than those buck horns. Obviously, it's, it's not done. It's very loosely mocked up. But that is way more better. You know, we're kicked up a little bit. You know, make it comfortable. Still got a little bit of bend in the elbow, but that... Uh, for me, and and I know the, the buckhorn lovers are gonna hate it, but I, I'm really digging this look. You know, it's it's different than what I've got over there. Still keeping with a bit of the old school vibe, but yeah, I, I think this is gonna be our huckleberry until I get the drag bars. So, and thanks to one of my, my viewers, did comment that the drag bar should work with these risers, so I shouldn't have to change them out other than possibly replacing likely replacing this one because of the stripped out hole and then replacing the bushings so I mean live and learn I didn't know 
Now, I know, you know, my buddy knows, but so I think that's where we're gonna have to end this one. Not as much progress as I was hoping, but I wasn't expecting it to be complete because we're still waiting on parts. So uh, anyway, you probably can't see me, but there we go. So that's kind of where we're at. Really, really like these heritage bars. So, I mean, they're not permanent. They're, they're not gonna stay. But if I do that, uh, I'm gonna have to do that brake cable. So who knows, maybe they will stay because otherwise I'm re-plumbing a brake line more often than I really need to. So, I don't know, we'll see. I might get lazy and just say screw it and keep these bars and forego the drag. But I know me, I, I can't just stick with what I've got. I have to expand and grow apparently. So that's all I've got as usual. Questions, comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. I'm getting back to all of you. You guys have been blowing up the comments section on the the last video, the Springer introductory, which is fantastic. I love it. Uh, as soon as we get a sunny day out, I will roll the, the Springer out into the sun so you guys can kind of get a full appreciation of the colors. It is dark green and black. I know in the video, and some people were saying it looks teal. I promise you, it's not teal. I wouldn't have bought a teal bike. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, stop talking to Saddleman. <clears throat> Gonna try to work something out there. We got new lighting coming, new grips coming, and new pegs, brake pedal, shifter peg, uh, tires, because uh, it, it needs tires, and I think a couple of other goodies that I'm not thinking of. So uh, definitely going to have a lot more coming at you guys, so stay tuned. We'll catch you next time. Later.